One of the most common questions we're asked at Audioholics is, do pricey boutique HDMI cables make a difference? That's a fair question. I mean, you can pick up an HDMI cable for a couple bucks, or you could spend over $1,000 for a cable like the AudioQuest Diamond. So, does a $10 cable make your system look or sound different from a $100 or $1,000 cable? The short answer is absolutely not. When an HDMI cable carries the signal properly, you're getting all the information. There's no hidden, better signal to be wrung out with a cable that costs as much as a used car. This is undisputable science. If an HDMI cable isn't working properly, the consequences will be obvious, bordering on terrible. You may see sparkles or frozen portions of the picture, or get no picture or audio at all. If you're not getting these obvious errors, then the science behind how HDMI works is very clear. This is as good as it's going to get. You don't have to take my word for it. Click on the link below to head over to Audioholics and read about the science behind HDMI cables, with articles actually written by electrical engineers and reputable cable manufacturers, like Kurt Denke, the president of Blue Jeans Cable. That's not to say that there aren't still some quality differences between cables, and that those quality differences can't have a real impact on your system. The biggest enemy to HDMI cables is length. The longer your cable, the higher quality it needs to be. For three to six feet, you can get by with just about any undamaged cable built to basic HDMI specs. The longer the cable, the higher quality it needs to be to pass the signal reliably, especially at distances of 25 feet or more. But that does not mean that that cable has to cost $100 per foot. Another reason is future-proofing. Higher resolution signals, like 4K, mean more information or bits will need to travel down your cable. The amount of data that can reliably be sent down a cable, the bits per second or bandwidth, is dependent on the quality of the cable. A higher quality cable will provide more reliable bandwidth and perhaps be able to handle future formats. Right now, there are only two HDMI bandwidth ratings, standard speed and high speed. Standard speed is rated to ha handle 720p signals, though an over-engineered cable might handle 1080p as well. A high speed cable is rated for 1080p and beyond, including the new HDMI 2.0 spec which provides for 4K resolution at 60 frames a second, among other advances. It is the highest rating available today, though an over-engineered high-speed cable may be able to handle the increased bandwidth of future ratings that don't yet exist. Once again, while quality cables can cost more, a more expensive cable is not necessarily a better cable. For many boutique cables, you're actually paying for the shiny connector, a pretty colored net jacket, or that fancy name, and not necessarily for a better quality signal carrier. Other cables offer significantly better engineering, are scientifically backed and have proven technology, and will still cost much less than Boosie cables. One example of this is Blue Jeans HDMI cables. Their Tartan line offers exceedingly affordable, good quality cables like this six foot cable, which comes in a variety of colors and costs only $4.40 plus shipping. However, for those wanting a cable with proven engineering to aid in future proofing, or for reliable runs over longer distances, you can get their Belden FE series cable. The bulk cable for the Belden FE is actually made in the USA, and the final product runs $21.75 for a 6 foot plus shipping. Another example is Redmere cables by Monoprice. Monoprice made its name on inexpensive HDMI cables. They worked great, but they were nothing out of the ordinary save for the price. Lately they've brought some interesting technology from Redmere to the market. When I needed a 50 foot HDMI run, I chose a Redmere cable from Monoprice. Redmere is an active technology that uses power from the HDMI port to transmit signals over distance using much thinner cables. With a traditional cable, I might have needed to use something like a 22 gauge connector. In other words, a thick, heavy cable that would be difficult to bend around tight corners and put a lot of strain on the HDMI port of my projector. My 50 foot Redmere cable used thinner 28 gauge wire, making the whole cable thinner, lighter, and easier to bend around corners which, believe me, is great when you're crawling around a hot attic with fiberglass in your ears. Beyond cables, it's worth noting that the HDMI sending and receiving circuitry in your AV equipment also factors in. So a cable may narrowly pass a signal with one set of equipment, but then will fail with another. A higher quality cable will provide a bit of system tolerance where HDMI circuitry may not be perfect. Make sure you visit Audioholics for advice on cables, components, and more, with everything from news and reviews to technical articles and tips to get the best from your home theater.